Hello Aries, it's Milady from the Ladies Way Terry, and I'm coming to do your weekly. Let's see what this is. So somebody's pretty feeling pretty good about their self. Um, maybe somebody just moved in with somebody, but I feel like they left them in the past, but now it's like they feel like they know what they want. Let me look at this one more time. Okay. So somebody found what they want. And it might be freedom. I feel like maybe you moved out and it made you feel better. So it could go either way. Okay. All right. So somebody moved in, feel better. Somebody moved out, but they just found everything they was looking for. And I'm like, and then you and I'm like, and they made their um, decision off that. All right, so what's going on with Eric? First, this my lady from the Ladies Way Tarot coming to do your weekly reading. Jesus, your energy is out of control. So, you feel like somebody is using you to get ahead. Yeah, okay. So, make sure to check your sun, moon, rising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Make sure. Thank everybody. Thank y'all for everything, you guys. You don't make me feel good when you watch my channel. Just watching it. That's all you got to do. And it just makes me feel like so happy. You don't understand. Okay. But I do like the sharing in the comments and, uh, and the likes. But just taking the time to listen. That's all that matters. Okay. So let's get this show roll. Let me get out of this emotional thing I'm in. All right. Aries. 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 What's going on for the Aries? Aries, 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 jeez, Aries, somebody's pissed off about a secret that came out, and it's like, I knew it, all right, let's see, all right, yeah, I knew you was using me, and somebody pissed off about it, okay, all right, Aries, August 7th through August 13th, 2017, Aries, August 7th through August 13th, Ooh, third party. I feel like the secret was your third party, Aries. But general reading, it can go both ways. Mm -mm -mm. Naughty, naughty, naughty. All right, so you might be dealing with people with a different religion, different race, um, a lower pay grade. But you're looking like, what the hell am I doing here? Okay. Like, I do not belong here. Okay, so whatever this is, this difference is starting to become a burden. Like, it was fine at first, but I think outside, all the outsiders coming in start making it, it, it worse. All right, so there's a secret going on for you, Aries. And what is this secret for the Aries for the week of? Okay, it came out. You got two cards. Okay, so it looks like you're falling in love with somebody, Aries. Mm, or somebody is falling in love with you. So you could be falling in love with somebody who you feel like you shouldn't be with. Or somebody who they feel like they shouldn't be with you is falling in love with you, Aries. Alright, what is the secret for the Aries? Aries. Nope. Okay, so. Seem like. Somebody fell in love with somebody who is who is moving away or maybe somebody fell in love with somebody and now they're moving away what is this burden okay yeah there's a whole bunch of people talking like I said that earlier this person may be uh, socially different from you like any kind of way the what i said earlier was just an example that don't make them no better in their worse. but it's just like people are talking about that and it's becoming a burden to a relationship and you're trying to keep the relationship on hush hush and they're like uh i'm out of here but in reality that you you love that person but you're letting the negativity of other people push you away or they're doing this to you okay so it's basically like keep going. Okay, do we need to keep going to the relationship or keep going away? Let's see. No, this is like keep working on this relationship. So even though it might be a long distance now, or maybe this could be you just pulling yourself away from them emotionally. But it's like you need to uh, keep working hard on it. You know, that's only if you want to. You know, as areas we like to pick up and go. Okay, so this person, 
um, as a fairly honest person, or you was honest with this person about what you felt like you wanted to do, Aries. I usually don't pull this many cards. This is what I do for my uh personals. So after this, I'm going to the Cleo. So this is um contemplation, right? You being honest with this person, this person is being really honest with you. You care about this person. You, you're trying to, you're starting to fall in love with this person, but you're in your head thinking like, Am, is this going to work? Can I make this work? You know, with all the people looking at you differently because y'all a different race or a different um, materialistic background or, you know, this person is higher than this person or Lord and whatever, you know, it's like, is this work? If it, is this going to work, you know? Okay, and some of you feel like it's an unwise decision. I mean, it's a whole lot of things in this that could be unwise. It could be, um, you know, with all the craziness going on with the racial thing. You're like, okay, maybe it's not right, you know, or something like that. But I feel like, I feel like this saying you, you're getting ready to make an unwise decision or, or maybe somebody is to you. So somebody... Yeah, I think somebody might go for the sh socially accepted and, and um, disfigure this relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aries. All right, let's go on. What's going on with the Aries for the week of August 7th through 13th, 2017? Aries, August 7th through 13th, 2017. You got a flyer. The High Orphan. Okay. So, let me just read that for you guys. Alright. Searching for meaning. True. Time of self-discovery. Oh, upside down. You may be taken advantage of in an unconventional way. So, um, maybe somebody treating you differently because of your um race or whatever. And it goes back to that. What I would have said is like, mm, somebody just... I don't know, maybe using their uh, authority against you in a negative way. That makes sense. That's why I like to read the book because it don't sound nothing like what I feel. All right. All right, what is this, Aries? Mm, somebody's turning down a new beginning or a pregnancy mm, or a new life. No, some kind of new venture, I feel like. I should have read that one too, but... I don't want to go for too long. All right, one more cut. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like everything needs to be done twice today. Ooh, no good. Or it could be transformation. Maybe people are looking at things in a different way. Nope. Deception, deceit. Oh, sorry, Aries. It was looking good for you or for us. So some deception and deceit in the home and the endings. Over money, possibly. Um, you might be dealing with a Leo. Or somebody is just going to try to be strong about the whole situation, okay? Back with a trip. Heartbreak. Okay. Damn. There it is again. So that was supposed to come out. Alright, so first we read the death card. Death card says, uh, A dramatic change the end of something current situation. In death, the life begins again. The beginning of a new situation. So, uh, it, it, keep, it keeps saying this situation is going to be over, Aries. And no matter if you put it um over, like last week, it said something like you dealing with somebody that you're falling for and you cut. Maybe it was this weekend. You cut it off. But it's like, it's starting to seem like fate. Even though you guys uh like each other, sound like it might be fate that you guys won't be together. Alright, so, um... We have the King of Swords reverse. Jeez, the swords really don't like me. I swear they they hide. Alright, so King. That's the King, right? I don't have my glasses on. Sorry guys. Um the King of Swords reverse cruel nature, insensitive, and hidden agenda. So basically it's gonna be over because somebody else has a hidden agenda or you do. Alright, then we got the Ten of Coins. And that's basically talking about peace in your home. Let's see. Ten of coins, ten of coins. It says, a time of secure your home and surroundings 
uh, a time for financial and economic stability, a time when happiness surrounding the home. Remember, your family is first. And then we got the Six of Swords. Six, Six Swords. Reverse. Result product of your, nope, a statement of position, re revelation, and non-disclosure. So I feel like somebody going to make it some kind of legal reason that you can't do something, maybe work, maybe um, they're going to use their religion or whatever that is for the difference to make this not work. So you should have left when you had the chairs, Aries. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal read-in, check in the description box below. Other than that, you guys have a great week.